Hello friends, today I'm gonna show you how to create a datum plane in PTC Creo Parametrics. So you've seen that I have created a base plate having four holes at the corner and I have created a spline which have a specific purpose which I'll show you at the end of the video. So basically there are three to four types of datum planes you can create. So let's get started. So first type of datum plane is offset or parallel datum plane. So select plane and select a surface to which your plane is at a certain distance. Select this surface and you can move the plane which is parallel to this green surface at a certain distance. And in the translation box set value let's say 200 and hit OK. Now go to plane display and you see a datum plane one is created that is at 200 millimeter offset from this surface. Now second type of datum plane that we need to create is at certain angle. So select this plane and select this edge, press control, select this upper surface and you see in the reference dialog box that the plane is passing through the selected edge and is at offset 45 degree angle offset from this green surface. Hit OK. So you see the second datum plane is created. Now the third type of datum plane is tangent datum plane. So select this plane, press control, select select this hole and select this hole. Now in the reference dialog box change this through to tangent similarly tangent and you see a plane is created which is tangent to both of these holes. And now hide all the planes that we created and the fourth type of datum plane that we need to create is the normal datum plane. So that's why we create this plane to show you how to create a normal datum plane. Now go to plane, select the edge or the end point of this plane and press control, select this curve. Now hit OK. Now you see all the type of datum planes are created here. I hope you like this video and for more videos subscribe to my channel workal23 I'll see you next time